I think in many ways, Addis Ababa is facing the, the, the same issues that the entire continent is facing, a population that is catching up in terms of um, disposable income that's growing literally in every sense, right? Um, and with that growth, there is um, more consumption, and that consumption directly relates into uh, waste and plastic waste specifically. So what we're focusing on is to turn hard to recycle plastics into clean and affordable uh, building materials for homes, for warehouses, and for other structures. My name is Michael Takaba. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Cubic in Addis Ababa, and my role is to enable a fantastic team of very smart people to literally shape the, the future of the continent through clean and affordable living. For now, the challenge that we're trying to solve is to bring affordability and dignity to, to living spaces and, and to, to structures by removing something that is in extreme quantities um, but not needed, and building something that is scarce and, and heavily needed, and that's affordable housing, right? There is a lot of um, plastic bags, for example, right? Um, shampoo bottles. Uh, these are the goods that we consider hard to recycle, right? and they don't have an inherent value, and it's very, very, very difficult to collect those because there's no incentive. So these are the goods that Cubic, for example, goes after, um, and these are the goods we aim to, to take out of the environment. Plastic is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Uh, yes, I watch at the Cacablo. So, what she goes, Betelaya, Botale, Betelaya, For us, we, we have three main ways of collecting it's from individual collectors through small collectors that are mini SMEs or small aggregators and then corporate partnerships. Really want to focus on, on the first one, right? The people at the base of the pyramid, the individual collectors that are taking plastic of the environment, they're not the ones getting the majority of the proceeds that comes from actually selling those recycled goods. So what we're trying to do is to offer collectors a, a direct way of selling their goods and to get higher prices for the, the work they've put in. Antony Lange, plastic Plastics cannot be decomposed for years, for many years. So we need to come up with a solution to recycle and reuse them again. My name is Asafa and uh, I am managing the factory here. So this is our recycling and production facility. In that place, we make the sorting of the plastics by the type, and then we make the shredding, and then we make the crushing. After crushing, you know, we, we also make the washing, the cleaning of the plastics. So after washing and cleaning, you know, we have a drying process. And then uh, after drying, we pack the products based on their types and then we mix them, you know, to make them melt in the extrusion process to find our final products called the bricks and the color. Plastic inherently, it can, for example, catch on fire, right? Um, so we actually have to treat it to make sure that it's fireproof, right? And we have to make sure that it doesn't leach into the environment and UV doesn't degrade it, right? So we have a formula to control for that. This is our large bricks, which is used for making the wall. And we have also the half bricks over there. 
So we interlock, you know, the large bricks and the half bricks together to make a wall. Uh, we are producing, uh, you know, more than 3,000 pieces per day. In tons, it's five tons. So if you look at the built environment's impact on CO2 and you match that with a huge need for housing, if you just continue doing what you're doing, you're just exponentially going to grow the climate crisis, right? So we need innovation in that space. And there are a lot of startups and a lot of companies doing that. Um, I think using plastic waste especially is crucial, right? Like two birds with a sun. Yeah. Ultimately, it would be amazing if we can do a B2C model. So if you're an individual that wants to build a home, you can use Cubic on a single unit basis to build. But for now, we're definitely pursuing uh, bigger partnerships with real estate developers that then work with the likes um, of UN entities, or it can be housing authorities such as like Addis Ababa Housing to, to build a lot of units for affordable housing. A lot of the costs when you construct are in the cement, the, the bricks that you have to use, the forming work you have to do, and all of that disappears if, if you're able to use our products. So it can be up to 40% cheaper on a, on a project basis. So when it comes to the applicability of using plastic for building materials, it does have and can have a space in, in many parts of uh, the world, not just the African continent.